What's up? We're Aaron Berlin. We're going to take you down memory lane. For the last 40 years of all seven of our albums. Um, so, Lowborn. I mean, we started seriously writing it. At the beginning of the year, honestly. Yeah, so we announced that this is going to be our last year and our last album, and then we're like, oh, we should, we should probably write We should probably write our last album. Since we said we're going to do it. So for us, I mean, it was important to not just um, kind of root through old, like, B-sides or, you know, unused songs and just kind of put out a record that sounds like, you know, that it sounds like we're just doing it just to do it. Yeah, so we started writing, and it... It was tough. It was really difficult because at this point, like, you know, having done six albums before, you know, it's like, how do you progress with keeping the same thing? And, you know, plus, like, the pressure of, like, being our final album and knowing it's our final album. Going into recording a record when you've already said that you're breaking up, is it's just a weird yeah. mental space to be in, I think, collectively as a band. <laughs> We all kind of did it separately. I did drums in Atlanta, and we went back to Florida, and we did the music with our friend, the rest of it with um, Aaron Marsh. And then Steven was in Nashville and did the vocals with Aaron Sprinkle. But at that point, all the melodies, everything was like done. I mean, we reproduced it ourselves. And it, even for our fans, it's this sounds crappy, but it's like if they don't like it, it's like you have six other albums you can go listen to. And this was a record kind of for us and for them, obviously, and we'd like them to like it. But um, it, it was a kind of a cool feeling just kind of being like, we're just gonna do this record and do whatever we want. I mean, there's 10 songs on the record, and that is the 10 songs there. There's no B-sides, there's no other songs that are coming out later, because those 10 songs were like a miracle yeah. in themselves, so. Doing the record, I think, confirmed that, you know, and just yeah. a lot of things just over the past, probably a couple years have just kind of been pointing in that direction. Just mm -hmm. in the fact that we've been doing this a long time, we're not 20 and all single dudes you know it's like people are married and have families and it's just hard to be on the road all the time yeah. and some people just don't want to do it anymore i'm thankful that we can end like this and not look back and be like oh we should have done that you know it's it's pretty surreal to be at this point on our own terms how we wanted how we've always talked about it and we we've always said we wanted to be one of those bands that doesn't just like go until it's like Implode. painful to watch because it is on our terms you know it's yeah. not nothing's forcing us it's not like like you said, it's not like our business is failing. Yeah. We just like, it was our choice and we kind of want to. We've said everything we've wanted to say too. I mean, with seven albums, it's like, that's a lot, that's a lot of records. And we toured, we've been to all the more places than we ever could have thought we could go ever. I mean, like where we set our like goals and dreams, it's like we're, you know, way past it. So for us, it's just a really thankful feeling for sure. What's up? We're Amberlynn and. You're watching Pure Volume.